I thought that I had already discussed Rinder's rules, but it turns out I hadn't. So I decided to revisit the book, which was an absolute joy. I enjoyed it as much the second time as I did the first, and discuss it today. Technically, I'm reviewing it, but I'm not going to go into that much detail. I basically just want to say, hey, this book exists. I think it's amazing. Please consider giving it a read. It's written by Rob Rinder. I guess under the guise of Judge Rinder, because it's uh, technically a legal book. But don't be fooled into thinking that it's dry and stuffy. Rinder's style of humour is peppered throughout this. That makes it a very engaging read. And the point of the book, which was published in 2015, is that it breaks down consumer law so that it's very easy to understand. Because... As consumers, and I will discuss the various different um, aspects of consumer law that it looks at in a moment, but as consumers we often come up against problems in life and the legal proceedings to get fair justice can often seem quite complicated. I know we have things like which, um, which kind of break a lot of these down more easily, but it can still be quite heavy going. But Rinder looks at different areas of consumer law and explains what your rights are as a consumer and what you can do if something goes wrong. And the reason I mentioned the date there is because obviously law does change a lot. Consumer law doesn't really change that frequently, so it's still in date even though it's been about seven years. But that is obviously just something worth bearing in mind that if there's something in this that you are going to actually use and act on, it's worth double checking that consumer law for that particular area is still the same, but generally speaking, it is going to be. And in this book, Rinder breaks down various aspects, and I will just go over the the titles of the chapters to give you a brief overview of the kind of areas that it covers. So it starts off with consumer ripoffs, holidays from hell, pets, which I hadn't expected, um, bad neighbours, which not really consumer law, but certainly. Um, Civil, um, terrible tradesmen, custody battles, borrowing, leaving property when you die, getting fired, lawyers, um, then representing yourself, a good idea, question mark, and small claims, a how-to guide. So while it looks primarily at you know, obviously consumer law and your rights when you are buying something and buying something online, your rights as a consumer um, in restaurants, when you go on holidays, but as you can see there, it also looks at... Um, you know, as I said, custody battles, which sounds like that would be quite heavy going, but actually Rinder writes this, and I don't know how much this has been edited after Rinder has written it, but we know Rinder is an exceptionally intelligent individual, and I imagine it wouldn't have been red penned too heavily. He explains things in ways that are easy to understand, non-judgmental, very much on the side of the reader, because that's the point. Yes, there are times when the consumer is not right, I do not believe that the customer is always right. I don't think that's the case. But it's written with the idea that you have a fair case and this is how to go about with proceedings. And it is fantastically written. I read it, you know, the first time I read it because I love Rob Rinder. The second time I just wanted to revisit it um, before discussing it. But even if you don't have any current need for any of these areas, and everything is going swimmingly for you and there are no problems that you need to take legal action for at the moment, it's still an absolute joy to read. And from start to finish, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I love Rinder's style of writing. I believe he has a novel coming out next year, which will be quite interesting, but I wish he would write more. Um, I, I love his style of writing. I'd love for him to do more legal books like this because they're just great fun, but also really, really beneficial and really interesting. If there is a specific problem that you have just now and any of those areas are covered in this book, I'd say that's a fantastic starting point. Obviously, you can't just take what is written here as gospel. It is important to then inquire with other places. Rinder obviously does mention what your first steps could be, and it's important to get as much information as you can before proceeding. But especially, as I said, it's seven years old now, so maybe there might be some slight differences now especially as we have been through so much as a country as the UK in the last seven years. Um, basically, the year after this book came out, 
everything fell apart. N not you know, purely a coincidence. Um, it's published by Cornerstone for anybody who is interested. And the hardback is just beautiful. I love the design of it. It's got a picture of Rob as as Judge Rinder on the front of it. Very appealing, very eye-catching, very well laid out, easy to follow, easy to flick through if you just want something specific, very easy to binge read if you just want an enjoyable read. Really thoroughly enjoy Rinder's Rules. Really enjoy it um, for fun. But as I said, there's a lot of really practical, useful information in there. And I think it's something that pretty much everybody can benefit from reading. Mm 